Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Queen. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time talking for Virgos today. I don't know why. It's a fellow earth sign. Anywho, <laughs> we have our candle, we have our water, and we have our cards. Um, as always, in the descriptions, you can find my other YouTube channels, um, my mentor, Jupiter1111, link, and her mentor, Sophia. Um, you can also find a link to my um, Spotify um, list where I have all the songs that I come up with um, that just speak to me, I guess. So let's just say, <clears throat> sorry, I feel like I have something stuck in my throat. I was not talking. <laughs> um, the song for you is Crush. And <laughs> I really, this is what spoke to me. Something fell. <sighs> I fill my calendar with stuff I can do. Maybe if I'm busy, it could keep me from you. <clears throat> I think that's kind of funny. Especially then, because I can't talk right now. So again, this can be um, DM or DF energy. This is just the current energy that they are in now. That, as I was listening to the song, it was actually kind of funny because it brought me back to like high school, you know, like when you have a crush on somebody and you don't want to let them know. But, um, you're dying for them to say something first. And I feel like that's where a lot of the masculines are. Um, <laughs> they wanna tell you how they feel, but they kinda want you to say it first. So they're just playing it cool. I thought it was kinda funny. Um, <laughs> let's see, what can we sense here today? Hmm. That's it. Um, I guess that's why my throat feels like that. <laughs> so, they have a lot to say. <clears throat> they are just on a... They're uneasy with not knowing exactly how you're going to receive what they have to say. And... I, I remember one of the verse in the song, when I was reading the lyrics, said something about, I see all your posts, um... I'm a stock or something like that. So even if you feel like your masculine or your feminine are, are not aware of what you're doing or the other things that you're into or the things that you take interest in, you're wrong because they are. And they're more aware than you know. And some of them want to speak to you about certain things that I guess they found out through stalking, quote unquote, but are unaware of how you're going to take it because it could probably be something that you've never spoken to them about let's just say um or something that you never really went into details about and they know more details than you have actually shared and i don't think that has so much to do with the uh, stalking i think it has more to do with the connection that you two share but i don't think that the masculine is aware that that's really where it's coming from but you know nor here nor there um <clears throat> just a lot of them are trying to figure out how to walk away from um situations that they know has has run its course whether it's um with family um work or whatever it may be but they are aware of what they have to do they are aware of what they what they what has to be left behind they're not questioning it and they're not afraid to leave it behind they are just trying to figure out a way to kind of leave everything behind, but not in a bad note. Like not, not trying to hurt anybody's feelings or um, make it seem like they don't care in general about, about people. So that is where they are at as far as having to let go of everything that they know they have to let go. Cause it's not a question of if or anything like that is of uh, how do i how do i say this with like how do i say it that my point gets across to these people um for those who have not been in communication it's <clears throat> it's 
it's more of they're afraid that if they come towards you, you're going to reject them because of the history in the past. It's not letting me see so much in the past, like what the history is itself, but it is um, the sense I get is a lot of them are afraid to approach you because of that. But I feel like that fear is going to go away pretty fast. Those of you were in the case that your DM or DF is with somebody else, is not that they don't want to leave, is that the other person is blocking them. Either with kids, like threatening, I'm going to do this, do that. Some of them are even taking it to the extreme and other, oh God, Lord, why? Um, threatening, like saying that they've done Things that they haven't, um, as far as like sexual assaults and things like that. And I hate talking about stuff like that um, when I'm talking to such a broad, like, you know, when I'm talking to more than one person. But the energy I'm sensing is um, this person does not want to lose and will try at all costs to stop either the burger or the burger person for moving forward so I would trade with caution if you are the person that the person is trying to manipulate in that way then I am asking you do not take into consideration their feelings because at the moment the only thing that you need to focus on is getting yourself out of that situation and I know that it sounds wrong to some but you you need to try to have conversations with this person when there's other people around or um, have recordings of the conversations you're having because this person is very vindic vindictive. Like, they're basically alpha blood. Like, if you're not with me, you can't be no one else's type of thing. And that can be just for like one person or a very select few of you, but I definitely sense that energy. So moving on. <laughs> For the rest of you, so the majority of the Virgos, is it's not about, like I said, leaving a situation. It's about how they're going to leave it. And that's really where their heads are at the moment. Hmm. Internally, they're fighting the fact that they know that regardless of anything, people are going to be um, hurt. And it doesn't have to be like a love, like, you know, a partner, like a boy, boyfriend, girlfriend, a wife or anything like that. But um, just in general, like, okay, let's say a person has been at a job for like 10 or 15 years. When they leave, they know that it's going to be hard for the company to replace them. It's going to be hard for the company to get somebody of the same value. If it's somebody that... <clears throat> whose, let's say, mother or father does not believe in divorces and they're getting divorced and even though their wife or um, soon-to-be ex-wife, ex-husband are okay with the marriage dissolving, the parents aren't. So they are, in an essence, feeling guilty because in a way they feel like they failed their parents. And again, these are just examples that are coming to mind. I'm not exactly sure why, but they are coming to mind. So it's not always about the ex themselves is just not wanting to feel like they let people down in any way um but again it's not about that they're not going to move forward and leave these things behind it's just they're trying to do it in a way that they can feel at peace with it and then they're charging right on up that's beautiful coming towards you just I'm home I'm here <laughs> let's see where their communication is so this is going to be for and I have my grandma not my actual grandma's 
<laughs> dress on but I call these type of dresses like my grandma dresses so my grandma my great grandma used to wear back in Dion anywho <laughs> oh, I just wanted to say that uh, it's so comfortable though because it's been so hot today I don't know where the heat came from I'm usually cold but whatever so Virgos um, either Virgos or Virgos persons as far as communication towards their Virgo um, Virgos current energy or their person towards the connection and how does Virgo or their person see the Virgo or how Virgo sees their person I can't shuffle cards I'm not a card player and no I'm not gonna sit there for hours trying to learn how to shuffle them you just want to say whatever comes out <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh, that's cute. Alright, so for the, again, the Virgo, <laughs> the current energy for either the Virgo or the person is, you know, their DM or DF, whatever. Um, we have the Seven of Wands. So it is trying, again, I've said this plenty of times. I don't know what they mean. I'm just going with what I feel. Is <clears throat> trying to find ways to communicate with people. So that's like, to me, what the middle represents that everything kind of balances out, that um, seems fair and and um, they're not leaving with any um, guilt or with any unsolved or unresolved um, issues behind them. Because um, the communication, they see it with you as the, it's a one, right? Yeah. So, is it as the ace of wands so they know that once they they break ties with everything else once they communicate that all of this they're leaving behind they know that when it comes towards you none of the issues that how can i put it so yeah so none of the issues none of the communications issues none of the misunderstanding or anything like that that they had in other previous either connections or you know like i said other relationships whether it be work or whatever it is they know that they won't have that with you because they know that when they speak to you it's like they're speaking to themselves so you they feel that you understand them the way they express themselves the way they speak to you um they feel that you understand them like to who they truly are even though they're not 100 percent sure who they truly are if that makes any sense and as far as they, they see you, um, the Four of Cups. So to me, this um, feels, again, like you emotionally complete them in every single aspect of the word. Not just in a I love you, I feel safe, I feel at home type of thing. But when it comes to certain people, especially if you are an earth sign, material things money things like that have always been uh have always had a huge um grudge on us like a hold on us and with um with this person i feel like the way that they see you is that they know that no matter the situation whether they're leaving a job behind whether they're leaving family behind whether they're leaving a wife behind or a husband or whatever it may be they know that all of their emotions when it comes to anything, whether it comes to work and how are we gonna get the money, how are we gonna get this? Like they know that there's not gonna be any worry. They know that everything is gonna be balanced. And emotionally right now, that is, that is what they're craving. They're not craving the material things anymore. They're not craving the acknowledgement from other people. They're not craving everything that seemed to, to be of importance anymore. All, that they want is to come towards you and just have that overall fulfillment in every single part aspect of their life that they know that they can have with you and that's what i sent huh cool not me step well guys thank you for watching and um we'll go ahead with the last one Tauros. Tauros. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.